Now be honest, is this what your holidays look like? Is this your night out at the pub? Is this that special romantic meal with the love of your life? We are still in the early days of this new world and it's pretty clear we're already struggling. Struggling to know when we should connect and when we should switch off. There are some pretty easy rules to make, like driving, but the rest of the time... What it's done to us is it's made us afraid of absence, afraid of solitude and daydreaming and quiet. Uh, everybody that I see with a, a moment of absence in their lives, they dive into their phone. This is how office work used to be, an analog world of pens, typewriters and landlines. And when we went on holiday, well, it was a struggle to get a week old copy of the Daily Mail, let alone a message from work. And then, well, this happened. Radio Shack keeps you in constant communication with their affordable, transportable cellular telephone. We thought that this connectivity revolution would mean we could be on the golf course or at the beach or out shopping when we were supposed to be at work and not get found out. However, there has been a price to pay. Being able to work from anywhere means that anywhere, whatever the backdrop, we're at work. Today came the news that the German automotive company Daimler is offering its staff an email holiday when they go on leave. Their inbox is blocked. Incoming messages simply deleted. Naturally, we wanted to talk to the executive at Daimler who came up with this new policy. What do you mean you can't get hold of him? It's 2014. But it turned out he was on holiday. So we had to make do with a statement. The aim of the project, the company told us, is to maintain the balance between work and home life of Daimler employees so as to safeguard their performance in the long run. We get a load of um, individuals who come and then we take their phones off them and lock them away. Vicky Bates runs Digital Detox Weekends. She says periodically dumping the smartphone is vital. We would find quite often in social situations that if people did have their phone, instead of you know making the effort to go and chat to someone if they were a little bit bored or didn't have anything to do at that moment, they'd just get their phone out and would play on their phone otherwise. So we have loads of feedback saying that they have much more interesting and deeper conversations when they are talking to people. They're not distracted by the phone going off on the side and then the person's attention getting diverted to the phone. And it's only going to get worse. Wearable tech is in its infancy. This watch will tell me when I get an email or any other sort of message. In the future though, connectivity is going to be sewn into the fabric of our lives. Perhaps we need to work out some rules. As much for employers as employees. Part of being always at work, our managers should know, is that we're also always at play. So you have this sort of wash back. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, if you look at their numbers, you'll find uh, the busiest times for those websites are exactly when everybody says they're at work. So we know that it's become this uh, uh, this giant no man's land of work and play meshing between each other. Uh, and it, it creates a kind of ambient anxiety throughout our lives. So live in the modern world, embrace its technology, but once in a while, for the sake of your health, take a trip back to the past.